So I'm a really big fan of the Singer Heavy Duty 6800C so far. But one thing um, I noticed was that they didn't really give you any instructions on how to use the machine's uh, special stitch features, like the alphabet and stuff like that. So I've been playing around with it, and uh, I think I figured it out. So what you need to do, and there's some pull-down menus that show you all the different stitches. I'm going to be going with the third one. You need to look at the file folder. M3 is where I'm going. So I'm going to hit the red M until I get to M3. So once you're in the M3 folder, go ahead and hit your floppy disk. This puts you in the saving program where you can write messages and things with your alphabet. And that is right here in the pull down menu. There's three of them that show you all the different stitches you can use with the machine. So using the numbers that identify each letter, type in your message. All right, so then you can see on your screen, there's 16 letters or designs in this stitch pattern that we're gonna stitch out. And if you want, you can use the arrows and go through and make sure your message is what you want. All right, so then I find I like to sew these at a slower speed in general. And you really want to make sure that you keep the edge of your fabric lined up because you don't want to be going all over the place on the fabric. So help it stay straight. And one thing I really like to do is make sure I have the needle down program on because I just, in case I need to snip a thread end or something. I like my needle to be down in the fabric. Usually you should do that before you start sewing, but I had forgotten. So anyways, just press that little button right there and you can see on the screen, now the needle is in the down position instead of versus being up there, up, down. So the machine does three locking stitches at the end. Go ahead and just cut the threads. That's not too bad. That's pretty good, actually. 